Welcome to my channel. Okay, so um, as I was shuffling earlier, this card came out. It is the Five of Cups, and this is a situation in which you're pining over something that happened very recently. So this is something that in your recent past, okay? And um, when it's coming out like this, you know, before even the cards are laid out, I just feel that this is an energy that has been um, permeating all... In reverse, King of Wands in reverse, the Ace of Cups upright, the Two of Wands upright, the Judgment card in reverse, the Sun in reverse, the Page of Cups upright, the Magician reverse. So because of all the reversals, I'm going to pull out two more cards just so I can get a, hopefully a more positive outcome, you know, just for closure's sake. So the Ace of Swords and the Devil. Okay, so overly not the most optimistic outcome but um let's go through and look at the energy that is playing out for this month okay so um i feel this situation is regarding um it's regarding let's see i have that this is somebody that um have done something wrong with you in your professional life or in your romantic life or in your even in your friendships so th these are earth I'm sorry, these are fire and water energy. So, with the King of Cups, it is a, ca a Scorpio, a um, Cancer, or a Pisces. And then with the fire energy, it is a Leo, a Sagittarius, or a an, an Aries. Um, so, I, I feel this energy very strongly, and I would say, you know... They're both in the reverse position, so whatever they've been doing, they're not being completely honest with you. They they don't appear as good people. So um, they're out of your life for a reason. It's going to be hard for you to move forward just because the energy is coming up so strongly at the beginning. So it, it's a situation in which there is a falling out between two people. Well, three people, including you, but there has been a falling out three you know, spilled over cups, two other people involved in that situation. You're the third person, so it's a falling out between three people, including you. Um, so let that go, because new energy is going to come in. And it's, um, it's not the way you want, but this is a chance for newness, for more emotional fulfillment. And I feel that it's going to to come in and it's going to give you more joy so let those two people um, out of your life okay and um, I know it's easier said than done but it's a situation where they've revealed their true colors and you're looking over it and feeling very victimized so let them go okay another way that this could manifest for a lot of you is uh, this is you know um, balancing out your need for truth and honesty and integrity the king of wands is all about and you know in, in the upright position it's all about our values and our integrity and maintaining that at the same time balancing that with our ability to sympathize and our compassion for other people and I feel in a situation like this you're lacking one or both of those qualities so being an earth sign um, being an earth sign, you value things that um, you can that are tangible that you can you know see, touch, and rely on. You know, so concepts of like abstract things such as integrity and values, as well as compassion, sympathy, don't come very easy for you as a Taurus. And I feel that because of these two um, conflicting things within you, like things that you haven't really um, that you're not too comfortable about expressing like sympathy, compassion, and you know your search for uh, um, integrity and you know uh, values and things like that. These two are not are not apparent within you, so it's very hard for you to um, it's very hard for you to relate to other people who are like this. And um, this is actually very interesting the way the cards are laid out and the way they're carried out. Okay. So as an earth sign, um, you Taurus are, um, the way that this sun is coming out, the sun is warmth, and the sun is like success, warmth, support. 
Okay. So, um, if in the past you've been associating with people who do not have the same value system as you do, who are not about maintaining their integrity, who are very shady in their dealings with their interpersonal relationships, you feel that they drain you of your ability to 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 present yourself at your your highest self. So I feel that coming in, they're just draining you because they are they are themselves swindlers, liars, cheaters. They have no concept of self and others, and they have no respect for personal boundaries, and they just don't exhibit. They don't make you feel secure and um, supported. Okay, so that's just what I'm feeling. And then on the other side of the coin, we have this con uh, this this King of Cups in reverse, in which you know um, your ability to sympathize, your ability to put yourself in others' shoes are lacking. So you lack a lot of sympathy. You lack the ability to care for, understand, and relate to your fellow man. And because of that, you are very isolated from this whole. You are isolated, I would say, like from the whole human experience, you know. You're never able to achieve this, um, this sense of like completion and moving forward with other people. So I would say like in situations like this, relationships just come and go without them changing you or the other person on a very profound level just because... The way you've been living your life and the, the people you enter into relationships with and the way you express yourself in relationships have been very superficial. It's lacking in warmth and it's lacking in depth. I hope this resonates with, with a lot of you because um, I feel this energy playing out so strongly that um, I just have to say it, the relationships themselves are lacking the qualities that make the relationship meaningful in the first place. So you're just going through the motion at this point and the relationships and the people you get involved with, they don't change you on any profound level. Because of that, you know, with the sun in reverse, with judgment in reverse and the way these four cards are laid out, I feel that you're approaching relationships and, you know, all kinds of relationships. This is not just love relationship. Um, you're approaching the relationships on a very superficial level, and this is in re um, this is reinforced by this Ace of Cups. So, if you can find a new way to relate to other, it's, it has to be through this. Okay, it has to be through like a very profound emotional experience. Like relationships have to be in this way in order for you to truly open up to be honest and to express yourself in a way that is um, open honest letting others in and letting them you know change the course of your life so that would be the best advice um, I feel that this opportunity is definitely available for you this month this is a new start of an emotional relationship um, the other energies are not overly romantic, and I do feel that, you know, people from the past are definitely coming back up. So if there's that water sign and that earth sign in your mist, please try to get rid of them because they're not working for you. And you have this new energy coming in, but there are no other cards that would indicate, you know, possibly, possibly a, a younger, um, possibly another water sign that is much better for you. But at the same time, this is a page energy, so I feel like it's also going to be one of those superficial relationships as well. Um, this is not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing at all. And I feel like, you know, this is the cards are coming in like this. So this is something that needs to be experienced. But give it a chance. Um, give Definitely give yourself and that other person a chance. Because I feel that um, with, an, with a water sign... Um, Water signs and Taurus. Um, Taurus would be really good with a water sign just because they open up this side of you that um, is kind of blocked because you are so practical and so like um, you value tangible things and yet you don't really explore the depths of your feelings. So I feel that coming in very strongly as well. So give that other person and give yourself a chance and I, I feel that you will be very emotionally fulfilled this month, okay? Um, 
So let's talk about the other energies that are also coming in as well. Um, I see like this is a situation in which um, I feel that this is more of a, of a business and also a relationship aspect that we're dealing with. Um, this is the way in which you look at the potential of your relationship. This is the way in which you assess your self-worth, okay? So what I'm seeing is this man, he's looking at the globe, and he's looking out to the rest of the world. So what he has in his hand, which is the globe, he feels that it's not enough compared to whatever else is out there. So this is the card that I call, you know, um, admiring greener pastures elsewhere. So it's a card thinking that what you have in your hand is not enough, and thinking that you can make... Um, you can do more for yourself out there, which is a great thing to do. However, if there is a new person coming into your life and you that new person ends up you know in the palm of your hand and you're looking at that new person as if, oh, I can do better, that's a really messed up way of approaching relationships, okay? If you must go out there to find something else for yourself, you have to first let this person know and let this person go. Otherwise, it is really bad. It's, it's reaping really bad karma, all right? So if you feel that this, whatever is being, is on offer from the universe, is not exactly what you want and is not that good for you, or, you know, you feel that you can do better, that's fine. But you have to let that person go first. Don't lead them on. All right. So coupled with this card as well, I would urge you to don't rush into that. Be a little more objective, okay? So be a little more realistic about your situation in that um you're holding on to this thing for security, but then you're 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 uh pining over what else can be out there. So just to put things into perspective for you, okay? Um the grass, you know, the, the saying, the grass is not always greener on the other side. That saying has been around for centuries, and it still holds true sometimes, so it's very important for you to look at the situation objectively before you make this leap, and you before you drop this person and make that leap and, you know, try to go out and find something better for yourself. And I also want to advise you, you know, based on the two people that you've dealt with in the past, the two rotten people that have been in your life, and then this person comes along and makes you feel whole and again. And then if you decide to just think, uh, you know, to just leave this person because you want more or you want to go back to something from the past, just know that that way of thinking is very circular. It doesn't serve any purpose. And you're regressing, you're not moving forward, okay? So the most important thing is we try to move forward in life, we don't regress. And especially we don't go back to bad people and we don't make excuses for bad people when the good people are right alongside us the entire time. So be very, very careful and be very objective about the people in your life. Know who's good for you, all right? and value and cherish the people who are good for you, don't look back at your the, the past and don't make excuses for the people from your past. It serves no purpose, all right, Taurus? It's very important for you to do it this month because you are seriously contemplating about going back to that past situation and it's, um, it's reinforced by so many cards, the, the reverse cards, the force four reverse cards, two of them being Major Arcana, well, three of them, with the Magician as well. And um, whatever you have right now, you are really unhappy with it. And uh, I feel like, you know, it has the potential to be anything you want it to be, but you're not even considering it. You're not even, you're, you're not even writing it out, and you already, you gauge its potential on a very... It has a lot of, um, it has the potential to bring you the emotional fulfillment, but it's going to require a lot of work on your end. So you're looking at this situation as if you don't even want to put in that initial investment because you don't really think it's going to pan out, or it's going to pan out, you know, emotionally, but materially is not to your liking. So I honestly believe that regardless, you're going to go back to that past situation, and then we're going to get ourselves into this vicious 
um, cycle all over again just because of this devil card coming up to the magician. Um, you want something that is tried and true, even though it doesn't work out, but it, it, it provides that... Um, it provides that that instant fix you know this is a card of like addictions and uh, bat like past patterns of behavior that don't really work but somehow we keep getting ourselves into the rut and we keep repeating these patterns of behavior and um, the magician card shown up in reverse next to the devil card you don't see your way out of it so you're going to revert back to past situations and bad people from your past and you're not you're not looking at this and assessing things objectively, okay? So please, I urge you to do it this month. And I know overall, you do have, you know, this is coming up center here. Um, that new relationship, give it a chance. And I feel that that person is eager to please you. So definitely give it a chance. Write it out this month. Don't make any drastic decisions because you will regret them due to the Mercury in retrograde um, energy. If you must make a decision, wait it out until February. But um, I'm telling you, this this is a very good situation for you. You just have to give it time, and you have to invest the time in if you want it to pay out. And I feel that for you, emotionally, it's going to be a huge payout. So you have to assess the worth of this by putting aside your... Um, your your reverence and your value for material things okay so let your ability to let your emotional needs be taken care of by this person because um, he or she is very eager to please you so let that play out until the end of February and by then you would have you know more clarity to see if you want to proceed forward but either way this entire month please please do not go back to old behaviors do not go back to old people, okay? You're just going to...